Um, Help Edge is, is doing a tremendous job here. We are very happy to have them as our partners. And um, again, the, the areas that we want to uh, support the elderly in this country are many. We've started with the pensions, and uh, I think uh, it is highly appreciated, but we still need to do more from the fact that uh, the, the amount that we are given is what we can afford at the moment, but it's not enough. But also the age, you know, that we start, it is 70. We would, would very much like to bring it down to at least 60 and, and, you know, see how it goes. But if you bring it down to 60, it means the number of people you are covering is very, very high. So, but we will do our best to, to make sure that we, we achieve that. Meanwhile, we want to have uh, proper geriatric um, health services for them. We want to have a proper system of supporting them in uh, public transport. Uh, we want to make sure that they have proper housing and, uh, and, and, and so on. So these are the areas that we are looking for partners to you know, come on board and see how best they can support us. We are happy that we have done something, you know, but we are aware that there's a lot to be done. So uh, your visit here is a learning process for us as well. Uh, we will get the NGOs that are working with us to emulate uh, the, the type of work that you are doing. Bernie, to look at best practices around the world and to learn from other countries how their population is aging. And so uh, we've done a number of studies, five or six studies in uh, particularly older countries like Japan, Singapore, uh, Taiwan. We've also last year did uh, uh, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, but we know that by 2050, 80 percent of the growth is going to be in low middle income countries, uh, the aging growth. And so we're here in Africa, uh, in Kenya, in uh, Zanzibar, and today here, I mean, and yesterday. <coughs> To, to look at countries who are at the forefront of building out their countries and their organization and infrastructure. And I have to say, we are so impressed with the actions that you've taken uh, around pensions for older people here in Zanzibar and just wanted to uh, celebrate what forward thinking that takes to be able to address uh, the wants and needs of people in this country over 70 to be able to do that.